you've probably seen people on social media recommending the three finger method for determining how much sunscreen to use. Unfortunately, I don't think that is the best method for fluid sunscreens, like this one from SkinCeuticals or r and Sun Serum because these more fluid sunscreens, they have really quick spread. So if you use the three finger method, and by three finger method, you basically take the sunscreen down the length of three fingers and that's the amount of sunscreen that you need. But like, it's not as useful for fluid sunscreens. Like that is definitely less than a quarter of a teaspoon. I would be willing to bet. Let's just see how much of my face it covers. Pretty much got everything. All right, so it's all off of my fingers. Like, I feel like it's really thin up here. I don't really have enough to go over my upper lip. Covered my nose pretty well. Covered my forehead. Okay, it's still a pretty thin film. Like I sincerely doubt it's two milligrams per centimeter square, which is a lot anyways, but that's how much you need to achieve the SPF on the model. And it doesn't give me enough to go around my eyes. While that method may be helpful for like thicker creams, I think honestly, if you wanna measure it out a teaspoon, a quarter of a teaspoon by all means, but to me, I mean, just pay attention. Make sure you're covering all areas with a good layer and then reapply a second layer. Make sure you're not getting any skip areas. Of course, if I had one of those UV cameras, I could see where I had applied. UV cameras, by the way, I see a lot of people like trying to use them to determine the efficacy of the sunscreen. They really don't work that way. They're kind of like, it's kind of like looking at something with a filter on. And it, it can be helpful for showing you where you applied sunscreen, like where you missed and stuff. But yeah, it doesn't tell you how effective the sunscreen is. Anyways. So if you've been using that method, I don't think it works for fluid formulas because they spread too quickly. Like when you do that, it spreads very quickly and the actual amount is much, much less than the density that you need. But I do really like this sunscreen by SkinCeuticals. It doesn't peel or anything. I sprayed this in my hair last night uh, while it was damp. It is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This came in my Fat Fit Fun Box. I'm gonna blow dry my hair straighter. <laughs> See how, how it does. customization opens up this week. Well, it should have already opened up by the time you're watching this vlog, but these cups, I got in my FabFitFun box, and I can't believe it's already almost time for the next box. <laughs> Like, it's already gonna be, like when you're watching this, it's May 1st. July will be here, August. It'll be Christmas before you know it. Well, hey guys, I just filmed a video for you all and I'm gonna head out to run some errands. So I'll take you all along. 
I am actually gonna go to Bucky's, which is a gas station here. I have been wanting to go there, so I'm gonna Care. They've got sunscreen for less than five dollars. It's chemical sunscreen. There's no cast for this. They also have this tube of petroleum jelly, which is going to be great for chapped lips or chafing. Now, I don't recommend these afterburn gels. They have lidocaine in them, which you can become allergic to. They're often very drying and irritating, not great for a burn. Here's a little mini baby oil, which is good for makeup removal on a pinch. One of my favorite body moisturizers by Avino and Lizard Lips, an SPF lip balm, broad spectrum. Now, this does have flavorants in it, which can irritate some people's lips but otherwise a great option and don't forget the eyewear protect your eyes from uv rays we're in a mall i haven't been in a while i didn't think this even existed anymore rue 21 came into this toy store Look at these mini cars you can buy for your child. A Lamborghini. How cute. I also was doing some meal prep and I wanted to update you guys on my Mizen cutting board. I love it. I put it on a towel while I'm chopping, but I've been really happy with it. And I still use my knife, but I put that away. Anyways, and yeah, I just have these meal prep containers here. Yet another thing. Gosh, I'm just like updating you guys on random items here. Anyway. Well, hey guys, I just finished up a run. I've been really good, as a side note, on doing my post-run stretch with the, um, I want to call this a TheraBand, because that's what they used to be called. You know what I'm talking about, those bands. Yeah been really good about that remember what was it a couple of years ago I got in the bad habit of like not doing much in the way of stretching and my hamstrings got really tight and now I'm just feeling like I'm a lot more limber since I've been doing that consistently anyways I had a thought because when I am like humming to myself or singing songs in my head or whatever the music that I that comes to mind for me is always like at least 10 years old 10 years old or older. I mean, maybe here and there, there'll be some catchy pop song that I'm familiar with and it will run through my head, but it's not really like a part of me. I just don't feel a connection with any modern popular music. Like I wouldn't even know what a common like song is. And I'm not like happy about that <laughs> because I feel like I am out of touch with modern music and I think I just I don't know I'm behind somehow there's like a discrepancy because there's no radio anymore and that is how I would always get exposure to newer music and like going out to clubs which I'm definitely not doing anymore but yeah I just feel like I don't know my adult life now has put a barrier between me and whatever is going on in the music world. And then when I do hear something that's like newer as far as a song, I either don't like it or I have no idea what they're saying. And then I just feel like I'm completely out of touch with reality. So let me know in the comments, how do you hear new music? I mean, I just feel like, is it Spotify? Um, do I need to sub subscribe to a certain channel on Spotify? I just, I am behind the times when it comes to accessing music and I always I yearn for music from another time like even before I was born I feel a deeper connection to music from those time periods and I connect it to periods of my life where I had that music pre social media I had that as like my form of entertainment the way I operate is devoid of any kind of modern music. So that's really, I don't like that. Let me know in the comments how you guys are getting music. <laughs>
Uh, or do you just default to, to what was popular once upon a time? You know, all of my habits, too, in a prior life were to, like, buy music. And you don't do that anymore. I mean, I, so I just don't know. And if I buy something to give me music, can I access, like, Led Zeppelin? <laughs> Uh, I'm totally out of it when it comes to that. I mean, I, I just find it frustrating with all of the streaming apps for different shows and stuff because I don't want to subscribe to 50 million different... I'm using my cleansing while I'm going to get in the shower, but I'm just chatting with you guys. I don't want to subscribe to like HBO this, whatever, because I really don't watch that much television, I don't have time and I just don't like to spend my time that way. But I do want to watch shows that I hear are popular. I always miss out on them. So is there a way to get like all of them in one package? Is it worth it? I don't know. For somebody like me? I do watch a lot of movies on Amazon Prime. So I definitely am getting my money's worth out of that. But I end up watching i mean mostly what i watch on there is like stuff that i've never seen that's older not new stuff although i do rent some new stuff from time to time when it becomes available on there but yeah i just feel like i'm stuck in a bubble that's kind of like the tension on the bubble is like too tight to burst into the modern way of accessing entertainment besides social media Ugh. At this point, I'm just rubbing the oil on my face because it feels good. Um, I enjoy doing this. I use it to remove mascara primarily and water resistant sunscreen. And then when I get in the shower, you guys know the drill. I just use a gentle cleanser. Um, actually, in the shower, I've been using that Beauty of Joseon uh, bar soap. I love it. And I've been keeping this bad boy out here for washing my face in the morning and washing my hands. This also works obviously well as a second step in a double cleanse, but yeah, that bar I have really been enjoying a lot. Highly recommend it. It's just a basic cleanser in a bar form, less packaging. I rather enjoy that. Anyway, speaking of which, I'm going to hop in the shower, but oh, I was telling you, this is the cleansing oil that I've been using. It, I've used it before and I love it. It's the Kosi Softimo. You can get it on Amazon. It's a Japanese cleansing oil. It lasts forever. Yeah, I bought this a while ago and I use it, it works quite well. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll chat with you guys when I get out. You know what I think it is about the music thing? I'm not making, <laughs> this sounds odd, I'm not making new musical memories. Like I used, you know, I have memories that are triggered by certain, mu certain songs, music. And now I just feel like there's a huge disconnect between my life and music being played it's it's odd like i i can hear a certain song and it will instantly take me back to like being in a certain car going to a certain activity event being around certain people certain like jobs that i was doing at the time work people i worked with But now, I think one of the reasons is that I listen to a lot of audiobooks when I do have time to just listen to a sound, or I listen to podcasts, which I guess is a good thing, but like I don't associate a podcast with like a memory, like, oh, I was, you know, listening to so-and-so talk about books they read <laughs> at this time in my life, like, I don't know, it's not the same connection. It's interesting how your brain can form strong associations when music is present, at least for me. Like, that's a big way in which I would like memorize stuff, learn things, is I would make up little songs. It would really help me remember, like, memorize things. Because a lot of, a lot of school is just rote memorization, <laughs> let's face it. I mentioned this yesterday when I was in Ulta. Um, this function of beauty hair serum is the bee's knees now i got this it's a 10 miracle leave-in product in my fat fit fun box i'm actually going to use it because i started using it and i don't want it to just 
sit around forever and this stuff lasts forever but when I opened my FabFitFun box remember I shared with you guys how I used to use this a long time ago and like was super impressed with it at the time but now I'm like mm, I don't know <laughs> I think the function of beauty serum is much better but I'm gonna use a little bit of it I think what it is is I used to really like the scent and now not so much Fragrance is another one of those things like um, music where it'll trigger a strong association, certain sense. I guess that's why some people are so, you know, into fragrance in their skincare, like, um, but, you know, me, I prefer to avoid it because the risks of irritation are just much greater, but um, I feel that way, I guess, about uh, Cetaphil's uh daily facial wash that scent um i don't know it makes me happy <laughs> so i enjoy using that that's a scented product i like anyways you guys i am gonna wrap up this vlog here i hope you all enjoyed it and that you are having a great weekend and if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe i'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye